Tourists come to Jamaica to lie on the beach and get a tan. But increasingly, Jamaicans themselves are doing the opposite. Influenced by the lyrics of popular reggae songs and social norms, many are lightening their skin using dangerous and unregulated pills and creams. The process is known as skin bleaching, and according to Jamaican health officials, it's becoming an epidemic. Jamaican national hero Marcus Garvey and reggae icon Bob Marley challenged Jamaicans decades ago to emancipate themselves from mental slavery. However, there is a harmful trend that has been in existence for several years that challenges whether or not Jamaicans are still in mental shackles. Vibes Cartel, one of Jamaica's most popular and influential dancehall artists, recently released this song. One of several showcased his new skin color he achieved from bleaching his skin. To grasp the phenomenon of skin bleaching in Jamaica, it is important to understand the raw, harsh, and very popular world of Jamaican dancehall music. A big night of the week is Wednesday, what they call here the Stone Love headquarters, Weddy Weddy, where several Vibes Cartel songs are in demand throughout the night. <laughs> Among many things, dancehall songs reflect the frustration and anger of a lot of poor Jamaicans. And the entire dancehall scene is a chance to show off the latest rebellious fashions. One of the most important and prominent dancehall events takes place every Wednesday night, and it's where all latest trends are showcased, including the most daring, most recent, and riskiest of them all. Skin bleaching. You can see it everywhere, on people's faces and hands. A telltale sign is to compare lightened faces with the darker natural skin of people's feet. Which one is the most popular out of all of them? Right, no. Right, the skin no. bleaching products that the women use are illegal, but easily obtained. On the sidewalks of downtown Kingston, street vendors have stockpiled their stalls with a myriad of skin bleaching products. This is everybody, where everybody I use, they get me. Everybody want to buy this. Anywhere you go, country or town, a testing. Downtown, most skin bleachers are open about their practice. This group of women happily shared their skin bleaching experiences with me. Why you have to cover up? Why you have to the, the sun, the sun and, and it affects the body with the bleaching. Some cover themselves from head to toe to hide their skin from the scorching hot Jamaican sun. Others say that wearing plastic makes the bleaching creams work more quickly. They call it come faster. Use a plastic bag. It makes your skin come faster and pretty. Many people at the bottom of society feel that they need to lighten their skins in order to improve their status in Jamaica. Now, this is quite a shocking thing for a country like Jamaica, which is also which also has a profile as being extremely um, pro-Africa, pro. Black. How dark were you before you started bleaching? Black, black, black. And how has your life changed since you bleach? I feel like my light. Like when I did black, I be a heavenly step on me, I be a darkness. No, sometimes you're black, you go through certain procedures, you can't get through in a life. Probably you have a little lighter color, you get through quicker, you get through more easier. Them say now when you're black, you have a stick of black, I'll back, you know, and when you're brown, you're, 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 you're come around. But right now, I'm not lying. I don't know. People now look for black people again. If you brown, you know you get you more than me, before me. Historians have recorded slaves using an arsenic compound to bleach their skin as early as the 17th century. And these same feelings about race and class continue today. If you look at the ruling party right now, it is predominantly light-skinned. The, the people, the face, the faces, you know, the front, the people who are ministers, the prime minister, they're all quite light-skinned. If you look at the social pages of the newspapers, 
you'll see that light-skinned people tend to predominate. There's an overrepresentation of light and white people in comparison to the rest of the population. They have the best cars, they live in better neighborhoods, they have more money, better jobs, etc. And as you go down, you meet the African majority, who are the overwhelming majority, who don't get the breaks, usually unemployed, and at the bottom of the social heap, right? So the little guy at the bottom of the heap, or the little girl there, realizes that their, uh, the opportunities are limited. But they think that if they're a little bit fairer, they would be better off. When you speak to these people, they do not want to be white. You have to understand this clearly. They have no desire to be a white man. What they want to be is a brown and a mulatto. To find out more about this process of skin bleaching, I visited two women who live in the notorious Waterhouse community in Kingston who were willing to share their bleaching secrets. These creams can become very costly, especially when you consider the minimum wage in Jamaica is less than $60 a week. Me is a nice black girl and my skin cool and thing, but when I bleach, I look more light and I like to myself that way. Many do not understand the effects of these harmful products with active ingredients like hydroxyquinone and potent steroids. This dermatologically tested cream, that means that it prescribes to enhance appearance and we make it. It's like with the other earth, take a pill. Then don't take it off for the market. Steroids have a significant place in dermatology in treating any irritation of the skin, and they work admirably to do that. However, they're used judiciously and prudently. For example, we almost never use them for more than 14 days. We supervise patients we put on them. But a side effect of this steroid is that it stops melanin production, so it bleaches the skin with prolonged use. Other side effects include extreme thinning of the skin, terrible stretch marks, and steroid acne, and even worse. If you remove this normal protective barrier, um, then we're going to get an increased incidence of, of, of skin cancers. Despite the warnings of dermatologists, there have been no recent public health campaigns from the Ministry of Health or Education. Instead, people are bombarded with pro-bleaching messages in popular music culture. Lisa Hyper is a prominent dancehall figure and is the first female in the dancehall to actually advocate skin bleaching, calling herself a bleaching pro. In this song, she even instructs people how to use a harmful cream. And Vibes Cartel, who is an even bigger star, created a nationwide debate on skin bleaching and defends his decisions on national television in Jamaica. If, if I, you were to say Vibes Cartel is bleaching his skin to gain fame, Vibes Cartel has already had fame. Yes. You know what I mean? It, to gain social mobility, Vibes Cartel is already socially mobile. He claims that his decision to bleach has nothing to do with self-hatred, but instead a tattoo enhancer and fashion statement. You know what I mean? Vibes Cartel is just a person that feel like for just get me tattooed and brilliant and more showing and just feel like for just rub on something. But all is not lost in the dance hall. There are several figures who speak out against bleaching, one of them who calls himself Assassin, a well-known figure in the dance hall space. I have a problem with it because to me black skin mean more than just, oh, it's as casual as I'm just going to do something to my hair. No, it, it, it mean more than that. Black skin is more significant. The debate spans across TV studios to university campuses. Recently, the University of the West Indies, Jamaica's most prestigious college, invited Vibes Cartel to take part in a public forum on skin bleaching. Over 5,000 were in attendance. In Jamaica, dance and music has been getting a lot of flack recently. The hope is that public discussion will at least bring awareness about the harmful effects of skin bleaching and that it will help Jamaicans deal with the psychological bondage we still face when it comes on to skin color and race.